everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you decided to join me today for this fun painting tutorial. I'm working on a smaller canvas today. This is a nine by 12, but don't worry, you can paint this on any size that you like. I'm gonna have a full list of all the colors and brushes below this video, and I'm gonna walk you through this tutorial every step of the way, so no matter what level you are at painting, you can join along and paint with us. So if you guys are ready, let's go ahead and jump in and get started. Okay, so the first three colors I'm going to be using for the background and leaves are black, pale green, and cadmium yellow light hue. So the yellow, the black, and the green are going to make the main color of all the leaves and stems and foliage in the background. And then that's going to be more of a warm green. And then adding a little bit of my phthalo blue will give us a few cool shadows uh, and areas in the background as well because it's really important to have a little bit of both. It makes your painting more exciting that way. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with my number 30 Filbert brush. I'm going to get it wet and I'm going to wet the canvas a little bit as well. Wetting the canvas really helps to blend and spread your acrylics out of your brush and along the canvas so much easier. You just make sure that you don't have too much water because if it's dripping and there's too much water, your paint won't stay on the canvas. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, start with my yellow, pale green. I'll take a little scoop of each and a little dab of black. So all I'm doing is just I'm going to turn my brush different ways, creating little taps and dabs, I'm not trying to make anything look like leaves or stems yet. I just want to create a blurry background. That way our pansies will show up really nicely. Now, if you have any trouble at all, see, I just added a little bit more water and it was dripping. I was going to say, if you have any trouble at all blending your acrylics, all I use, and you can use mediums, but I just like to use water. I find that it really helps and I don't have to worry about it taking forever to dry throughout my whole painting uh, process. Whereas uh, adding a medium, a slow drying medium, will make your acrylics act like oils. So that can be a little bit frustrating if you don't want to work in oils and you want to be able to work a little more quickly with applying highlights and shadows and layers in your paintings. I found even taking a hair dryer and trying to dry uh, the slow drying medium didn't work. So just be a little bit careful when you're picking out mediums to help slow down uh, the drying aspect of acrylics. Okay, so I've got a good base here. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of my blue now and a little bit of black. I've still got some yellow and green left in my brush. All right, the next color I'm gonna be adding is some of my titanium white. Okay, I'm gonna pick up uh, one of my filler brushes now this is a number 10 if you want to use one a little bit bigger or smaller that's fine this is just for making some of the leaves now i want to add white to a little bit of this blue a little bit of my yellow green and the paint might be wet still and that will also help uh, me to work in my uh, highlights here for my leaves so I like to use a filbert brush because it's got that round end um, that's really handy when painting round petals or roundish leaves. So my paint's drying already, so I'm going to just add a little bit of water. I'm going to gently push, wiggle, round it out, make it slightly wider right in here, and then I want to this is going to be more in shadow down in here, so I'm just going to ease off on the paint. 
and then just add a little bit more right around there. And I'm going to take a little bit of my pale green and it's going to be more of a kind of a frosty minty color. Outline, pull in towards the center. Same from the other side. A little bit of water on my brush. Mix up a little bit more. Use a little bit of black in there just to tone it a little bit. Okay, and then I'm just going to do the same thing. I'll do a few of these. And what I notice about the leaves on the pansies is that um, some of the larger ones um, have a kind of a, a ruffly outline to them in shape. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take advantage of this nice round end, the filbert brush. And I'm going to kind of underneath here. We're going to see this from the side. So we're just seeing like the top. Facing up, we're at this level where we're going to see the sides. I'm going to do these little scoops. And you don't have to make them match the other side. Don't worry and waste your time about counting. I know some people really get lost in details like that. And it's, uh, unless it, it really matters to you, it's not important. So just by turning my brush with the handle pointing up to the ceiling, I can just gently push and tap and pull in to get more of a, a round shape there. And then I can turn it the opposite way with the handle pointing down and work on these ones. So I'm going to do this a little bit quicker and Add some more highlights along the way as this dries. And then I'm just going to gently blend it in so that it fades into some shadow so it gets darker. And if you're unable to do that, you can always go back and just add a little bit of uh, the darker colors, any one of the dark uh, shades that we have in the distance or the background. Okay, take some more. So I'm going to add a little bit of a little bit of yellow in there, a little bit of black. And a little bit of water. And then we're going to have some smaller ones here. So wide and then a round point. So nothing too, too sharp and pointy. And we can add a little bit more color to some of these. Add some little ones right here, you know, where the, where the pansy starts to grow from the stem. There's all these little leaves buds and leaves. So that's what I'm adding.
And then we're gonna work that paint out of your brush, wiggle and push gently, and then get it on the tip of your brush where you really want it to be. And then always pull it in towards the center here. And take more of my yellow, green, and white. And just add a few more tabs in here. Now if I take a bit more white this time, then I can have this one have them show up a little bit better with when you're adding them in the in the front to make it look layered. You either want it to be um, brighter around the outside or darker behind. Either doing either or will work. Just gonna add a few more light areas in here. And we just picked up a little bit more of my phthalo blue. Mix up some white, plus the other colors that are still in my brush. So we're gonna add a touch of this color loose some of these areas up, cool them, cool them off a little bit. I just think it looks so pretty, adds so much more life when you add different uh, temperatures in your paintings because the light's going to be, you're going to have warm light and you're going to have cool light, you're going to have cool shadows. Just little, little bits of this blue. Isn't that pretty? And then I'll come over. These will be maybe some pansies in the distance. I'll add a little bit of um, purple. Add just a little bit of yellow and black to this. And come under here and make this a little bit darker. just using all those colors without blending too much can be really powerful because you get kind of like a one stroke petal or leaf and it help it really really makes a difference in making your paintings and the objects in your painting stand out so I'm going to add some white to those colors and yellow. I'm going to add a leaf here in front. I'm going to have to work on a little bit just to make that stand out a bit more. So by taking a little bit more white and not a lot of pressure,
And then I'll add a little bit of shadow underneath here. Blue, green, a little bit of black, yellow, anything that's just going to be darker. So I can come outline. Just going to outline with that dark color. Gently, gently push. And then I'm going to rinse all the paint out of my brush, clean it out, dry it off, and then gently little circles to get an even blending. And then I'll come in with a little bit of black right around the edge. And that gives it uh, that shadow. It makes it look layered. I'll show you a few other tricks for adding more depth. We can come in the center here. Gently pull in and around these. And then really, really softly blend out. Then a little bit of white with those colors. And it's up to you if you want to use more blue or more yellow or green. You decide. And then another highlight on the little more yellowy leaves, a bit of white with the yellow. You'll notice that the paint starts to dry a bit darker. It's nothing you're doing wrong. It's just normal. So you definitely have to have patience with acrylics and just, just for the fact that they dry a bit darker. But... They do dry quickly, so you can go back pretty quickly and add more highlights. I'm going to come around in here and add some shadows, just like I did here and here. My blue, black, and a little bit of yellow. I think I'm ready to start painting our uh, pansies. So I'm going to get out my colors that I'm going to use. And, you know, I happen to be all out of purple right now, so it's pretty easy to make. And I'm going to use my Luminous Rose by Holbein and mix it with some blue. And I've got some phthalo blue left here, so I'll use that. Okay, so I'm going to paint three pansies, and I'm going to have three that are more in focus. So I'm going to start a small one back here, and then another one here, and then we'll layer over that with one here. So I'm going to take a little bit of white, blue, and rose, and we'll mix that up and see what color that gets us. That's a pretty nice color. Just add a little bit more. So pansies can have four to five uh, petals. We're not going to see all of them. We're just going to see 
part of two and a third one up here. So I'm going to start with the edge, wiggle, wiggle, right like that, wiggle, wiggle, and then the other one that's going to come down here. And then the other one around here. Now we're going to go over this purple with some yellow. It was hard to choose which colored pansies that I wanted to paint because there's so many choices and they're such beautiful flowers. But um, I just really love this one because it's got a lot of contrast and it really pops with that yellow. Okay, so I'm gonna take yellow right away and a little bit of white because I want the yellow to blend in a little bit with the purple. It kind of, it, it veins, right? So you'll get those little lines. So I'm gonna start from there. A little bit of white and of course we're going to build up not over blending too much we're going to come from this side and at any time if your brush gets sort of muddy and it just all turns brown, then just wash it off, dry off your painting, and begin again. Okay, I'm just gonna wash mine off now. I'm going to take a little bit more of my rose with the yellow and a little bit of white and right where it's starting with the purple the outer edges I'm going to gently gentle little pulls mix up some more color So we're just going to start enhancing the colors. We don't want to completely cover up the other ones. Now as we get around here, we're going to change the direction from the side, twist and pull it in towards the center. I'm going to have a little bit more paint on my brush to work with. Okay, so now what I want to do is take some more of my blue and rose, which is going to dry much darker. I'm going to come around the edges, wiggle, wiggle, make this a little bit thicker. Add a little line here, a little line here. So have enough paint on your brush that you don't need to push too hard. Pick up 
a little bit of that rose. Okay, and then around the edges here, we're going to add some more dark, the blue, and the rose. Take a little bit more rose and just dab, dab, dab around the side. Little dabs. And then we're going to go out and wash my brush out and I'm going to go into my white tiny bit of yellow get it on the tip of my brush gentle gentle little dabs we go out a little bit and then back in Now, more yellow and white. I'm going to concentrate in the middle. up a little bit of a rose just add little dabs along here and then I'm going to use one of my favorite brushes I've got a Wisp fan brush uh, that's really nice. So I'm going to come in the center here and add a little skinny oval and then a little line, a narrow line that comes in with black. So I've got this little Filbert Wisp brush. So see how it's got, it's like the shape of a Filbert, but it's got sections cut out of it. This way you can get some really wispy lines like this. So just gently pulling, and I mean like the gentlest amount of pressure. Now if you need to, you can add a little bit of water to your brush. Add a little bit off of this white. And I have to add a little bit of yellow and white right in the center here too. So I'm going to just use this brush. So it's going to be a little scoop like that little scoop of yellow, light, light yellow.
you can make them as bright as you want, right? You can use any yellow you want, any amount. Just know that you do need to have some white underneath first. Otherwise, it's going to um, dry green because it's just going to be like a filter over top of what's underneath. So again, just gentle pulls here. Just dabbing it in to the rows. I've got a little bit of yellow left in my brush. Which doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Now I'm going to pick up a little bit of the blue and the rose. And I'm gently add a few flicks here. Got a bit too much paint in my brush. So I'm just going to wash that out. And then there's a little bit of yellow, a little bit of yellow inside here. It's not solid black. Okay. I'm just going to very lightly scumble now that it's starting to dry. I can add a little bit more of a layer in here. So it goes from purple to this rose and then a fiery orange color. And then I'm going to add a little bit more white in here, brighten this up. Kind of around the edge, what I did was take a little bit of white and added it to my purple color that I made. And just make this sort of glow a little bit. Just in a few areas. And then like I mentioned before, I would add little hints of the purple in the distance. A little bit more yellow. I'm going to come in with a liner brush for some fine lines. I've got a mini, micro mini liner brush here. 
just gonna get it wet get my purple on there and very lightly pull and sweep Sometimes there's some folds in the petals too. Okay, I think I'm ready to start painting our other pansy. This time I'm going to add the yellow first. I'll try it differently and give you guys another option. So white with yellow. triangle right here and then come out and add half a well almost a whole circle it's going to be hidden though the inside area here Notice how generous I'm being with the white because I know that it's going to dry darker. I want to have this nice bright base. Just come around the center here, get like a pointy almond shape, leaving it darker inside. Okay, then I'm going to take my pink. The rose with a little bit of yellow. I'm going to start above and fan a little bit above and into the yellow. Can be a little bit more generous out this way. Where it's going to meet the purple. I'm going to come around and outline this right down here, right here. Use a tiny bit of purple in with it, but more of the rose. then gently pull and flick. I'm going to a little bit of water on my brush. Help loosen that. So you start adding a little bit more of the blue in there to make it darker. A 
some blue. Tap, tap, tap to bring this in front. Pick up some rose, pull and sweep. Then we're going to cut across like this. Tap, tap, tap. Go in a little bit for a bit of a fold in the petal. Take a little bit of white and yellow. We'll use that to blend out our rows. Pull a few lines out, and of course you can use a liner brush for this, or that wisp fan. Take a little bit of white, add that in. We'll just help some of the petals, the ends of them glow a little bit. Very light pressure. And then back right in where it curves. I'll go back over to my wisp fan brush. Make sure it's a little bit wet. Pick up some a little bit of the rose. A little bit of the purple. Oops, just going to take a little bit of this off. Make that line a little narrower. And back into my rose color. Slide my brush and wiggle to blend it. We're going to come in with a more yellow pretty soon, but I just want to add a little bit more here. I'm 
and scoop and pull, scoop and pull. Okay, I'm going to go over to a uh, number four flat brush and I'm going to take some little bit of water to help loosen the paint up white and yellow. And I'm just going to come in and add some more yellow as well as those little lines. So gently pull. Like you're painting sun rays. So I'm just showing you guys different brushes that you could use to create this, because not all of you have each brush I'm showing, but chances are you've got at least one. I'm gonna come down here, little scoop. Now another brush, it's another Wisp even tail brush. This is a fan instead of the uh, filbert one that I showed you. So because this petal is larger, or these petals are larger, I'm gonna use this. And you wanna make sure you have water in your brush. I'm gonna mix up the yellow with the rose. And then come along. And pull. Get this beautiful, almost like a rust color, but it's, I know rust isn't really a nice color, but it just works with these pansies. I think out of all the brushes, though, I'm liking um, my little filbert one, though. So I'm going to continue to use this. A little bit of rose and blue again. Work on the darker areas. And pull a line up here. Line up here. Almost looks like pansies have a face, like this is the nose. <laughs> this is little mouth or mustache and the eyes.
blue come in from here as well. Just gentle little pulls and sweeps. Let the brush do the work for you. We're gonna be overlapping this one, so I shouldn't spend too much time worrying about that. I'm just gonna take a little bit of my pink and purple color, the blue, and just bring this up a little bit higher. There we go. And there's a little line. It's right in the middle there. Make sure this stands out. When we make this line, these petals outlined darker, it really sets off the light from the other one behind it. Okay, so what I get to do is come in uh, the center here and add our white. So I'm gonna go around, loop, around, and loop. And then I'm gonna pull Little lines, I'm just using my micro mini liner brush. Use the wisp if you want. I'll go into my yellow with the white again, and I'll add a few lines back and forth like that as well. There's so many different ways to approach um, painting these, so I hope that you guys are picking up all the different ways that I'm showing you. I want to be more generous with my yellow now. A little bit of that rust color and soft yellow right back in here and then just soften with my finger re-outline i don't even have to use a little because i'm running out of blue i'm just going to re-outline that one there i'm going to switch over to my wisp filter brush bit more yellow. This is a really, really fun painting. I don't think, well, maybe I have painted actually a long, long time ago I painted uh, a pansy, just one, and then I don't think I ever painted any more. Just adding a little bit more of that rose kind of rust color. Okay, so I'm going to just go out like this, little triangle like that, okay, so this will of course be our second petal and our third one here. Take a little bit of white, make sure that dries nice and bright. See, if you don't use enough white, you see the uh, 
the green through the green background. And then our other petal. Right there. Okay, I'm going to take my even tail fan brush, some water, some rose, a little bit of yellow, white in there. Here's the corner, wiggle, 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 pull. And a little bit more of the rose. Do this one back here. And again, more rows. Take some more yellow. Blend that in. We've got another petal back here that comes around. And first I'm just going to add a little bit of yellow. There's just going to be a little hint of it right in here. Just a very small amount. So I'm just going to gently pull and flick. Okay, then I'm going to take my rust color I made with the pink and the yellow and white. And blue and pink. I'm going to outline the other ones. A little bit of oops, pink, blue, and white. Just a little bit of white in there, right as close as you can get to that outline without going over it.
and we're going to start changing the direction of these lines as the petal comes down here. Make sure you're working the paint out of your brush when it gets a little too saturated. A little bit more of the rose. There's going to be some lighter areas right in there. Bring this one up a little bit higher. It's going to come just in behind this top one. And then I'll get my pink, yellow, and white. I'm going to go in for another layer of my yellow and white. Well, I hope you guys are following along okay and you're enjoying this video. Take some of my rose yellow and white again and make that, here it is, that rust color. You can turn your brush both ways, right? If you want to add thinner lines. I'm going to start coming in and adding a little bit more depth to this one now. And then blue. So I want to go back and always make sure that I'm making my brush nice and flat and I've got the paint on the tip of it. So we're just adding those dark areas that we have there. And a line from there. And a gentle little scoop down.
little bit of more blue into that pinky purple color with some white. I'll we'll squeak some back here. It'll all dry darker too, so don't worry if you're worried that you're making it too light because it will dry darker. And just have a look at it um, once it's dry. pick up some more of my rose now. Gently pull and flick. Little touches of this rose here is so pretty. And a little bit of the yellow in there. Not over blending. I'm going to take my white, tap, 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 that oval shape, Add a little bit more white right there, and then, because I don't want it to dry too light, I'm going to add that yellow. See, I love a filbert brush because you can get right in there carefully wherever you need to.
I'll bring this petal out just a little bit finer. I'm not just taking a scoop of that rose along with the blue and not even over mixing. I'm going to add a few skinny lines in here. Pull, pull, pull. Gentle little wisps. Okay, and now with my micro mini liner brush, I'm going to take a little bit of white and I'm going to pull and flick little lines. Take a little bit of the yellow and the white and come back here, do a little scoop and then a few little lines as well. With my rose, I'll add just a few more lines inside these dark areas. Just back and forth like that over top of all those other colors. You can also use that little flat brush or the wisp brush. Like I said, there's so many different ways to approach that I hope that I've covered quite a few. I know there's more. I didn't show you a regular fan brush, but um, it'll be similar to... I'm just going to take a little bit of pink and blue and white. Come back over this. Yeah, so it'll be similar to the Wisp even tail fan brush that I used. So I'm just gonna pick a few areas in here to add a little bit more folds and shadows to. And then just a little bit more white here. You know when you're enjoying a painting so much and you just don't want to stop? 
I'm looking at a few reference photos right now and the more I look at it, the more details I'm seeing. And I think this is, I think I'm pretty happy with this. So. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video today and that you learned a lot. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment below. Uh, have a wonderful day, everybody, and I'll see you all soon in my next video. Bye!